Alright folks, we're going to take a look at the EOTech 517. They just came out with the uh, buttons on the side. Right now, <clears throat> on my Colt I got this um, older version where the buttons are inside. The new one has the buttons on the side. Floating barrel here, so I adjusted the distance to where I'm comfortable with. I don't like it too close. I don't like it too further out also. It's a preference, but I don't need any magnifier. I don't shoot over 50 yards. I don't use EOTech if I'm shooting over 50 yards. So let's see how we deassemble de this real quick. And then we're gonna get to the differences, but I want you to see how it sits on the rail. The new one that I got, it has a seven millimeter raise, so I can use it with my iron sides if I wanna turn it off and just uh, line it up with my iron sides. So let's deassemble this. I don't need any tools. I'm just gonna reach for the screw over here. It's kind of tight, but it's still you can get it up with your hand. If you really want to tighten this up really super tight, which I don't, you can use a coin. Penny works uh, great. You can just screw it in there. You don't need anything fancy, but as I said, you can really put a force with this. The, the screw is big enough where you can torque it with your hand uh, finger. So I'm just gonna unscrew this. You don't have to take it out all the way. You're gonna see that it just, this tilting move, it's not like comes up towards that. You just have to just tilt it and then like it sits like that. Just tilt it out and it just comes off right just like that. That's a full floating barrel right there. Iron side front, iron side back. Uh, my problem was I couldn't align it with this because the height was not enough. Uh, I was always off if I wanted to use it with my iron side. Right, folks, I deassembled mine, and this is the new one that I'm gonna put on the um, put on my M4. The only problem I had with this is just each time you wanted to adjust, the buttons are at the front. So if you're holding the weapon, you just have to get off the weapon to be able to adjust this thing, and then the brightness or whatever, whatnot. EO tag just improved that. The buttons are on the side now versus right here. So if you're on your weapon, all you do is just ch -ch 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 -ch, you know just adjustments on the side much easier much reachable one more difference that I wanted if you can see the one here the older one the one on the left is a little higher and to be exact it's seven millimeter higher than the uh, than this one right here so if we put them on the ground at the same you can see how high it is uh, the one on the right is the newer one obviously uh, it's seven millimeter exactly high, so it works with my um, iron sights well. I got folding iron sights at the front and back, my 6940. So if I don't want to turn my EO tag, it just works just fine through my iron sights. It looks sleeker on the older model. It's a little clunkier here, but as far as what it does, I'd rather take this one than this one. I want it to work with my iron side, so it's a little raised and I'll take it. Now you can go smaller than this, actually it's shorter, not smaller, which is XPS2. XPS2 is the model and then there's a dash and then it starts with a zero, which is one dot, and then it goes up with the numbers where the dot numbers changes. If it's XPS2, two dots, XPS3, three dots, and then XXPS, which is like the extreme ones. It goes into night vision and all that, and you can fantasize this thing all the way up to thousands of dollars. But as far as uh, close encounters, you don't shoot with this anything anywhere over, I don't even want to shoot anywhere over 30 yards, I want to say. This is just for like uh, home coverage, which is not more than 30 yards inside the house. So this is all you need, something around 400 bucks. You can do night vision if you if you're gonna ever go for the goggles, but it really gets extreme in the prices. I don't wanna pay like $150, $200, that don't justify for me. I already did, I bought to get rid of this, which gonna sell easy because I keep boxes with it. Now, on the side, the newer one, you can see the screw improved a little bit. You can put actually a coin in there and not damage the texture or the color of it. Like as far as this one goes, this is a coating. The more you put metal on it, the more the coating goes off of the screw. And the newer one, the screw is like 
metal itself. You won't be able to even if you put a coin on. There's nothing to strip out of there. So the coating on the on the side itself is different than the screw. So you can put more metal in here, screw with something, and the tech the looks will look the same. You won't be able to damage it. As you can see, the battery latch is uh, this uh, constructed the same way. This is the older one. You just pop this up. The battery latch pops. You pull it up. The battery is right in there. Uh, these are double A's. But if you go to XPS2, you're going to realize that you're going to need that CR123 battery. And if you're looking at double frame here, if you're wondering what it is and if you didn't know, this is a metal frame to protect impact uh, to your, actually, the screen on the EOTAC, the uh, holographic screen. So if anything comes up, this one absorbs the impact. So nothing happens to your um, frame right here inside. As far as waterproofness, uh, they're okay to 10 feet. I already submerged it in a different video, so if you dig into my videos, you're gonna see that this is underwater just fine. Uh, both of them works perfectly underwater. The brightness settings are the same, same dot, same functionality, everything looks the same other than this one has a night vision, and I ordered one without the night vision. So, let's fire them up. All right, you're looking at two dots on the screen. The one on the right is obviously the newer one. I don't know why it looks like it's a little brighter on the right. It's probably a setting problem. Let me put it down and get the other one a little brighter. Let's see if it's gonna work. Now we're looking at same brightness. The one on the right is the newer 517-65AA and the one on the left is with the one with the um, older one with the night vision, but obviously you can tell there's no difference. Both of them are Nice and bright, adjustments work the same way, the colors look the same, the range of brightness is the same, the only difference is the buttons are on the left, on the new one, this is exactly what you see when you look through without squinting through your EOTech. Okay, I also quickly wanted to show you how your EOTech comes in. This is like a nice locking box, plastic, um, I wanna say it's water resistant, it'll float, it locks really nicely. And the way it's gonna sit is I'm gonna just take out the batteries here so you can see how it comes uh, what it comes with two batteries they were already in there and the EOTech was like just like this sits in your box nicely two batteries goes here and the paperwork on the top this is how I receive mine and this is not how I keep mine. The box stays empty, that goes on the weapon. If you're keeping your e attack in your case, I don't know why you bought it. And then, box locks nicely. You can even lock it right here. This is your e attack. 